Hi, I'm Sean from Cask Woodworking, and for those that know, it has been extremely cold the last few weeks here in Edmonton, and with that, uh, I decided that we would bring you guys back inside once again, and we're going to show you a little bit of the sketch up for the table that I'm about to build, or I'm in the process of building right now, and I uh, just wanted to kind of take you through the sketch up, uh, where the idea came from, and kind of just take you through that. So. Let's get into that. The whole premise for this table that I'm building uh, essentially came from walking through Ikea. And actually, you know what? Let me just uh, let somebody else tell you how it came about. At Ikea, um, we don't usually come here, but uh, some of the tables here are actually quite interesting. I really like this, uh, this design, you know, with the finger joints and you know what, little cutout that makes it look like it's floating. And they have this other one with uh, through mortise and tenon. Um, kind of cool. So I like the idea of it. Um, something that could be easily recreated. Once we toured Ikea, essentially came back and looked at the measurements online. I did take some measurements while I was at Ikea, but you just never know. Uh, I used the iPhone measure app. It, uh, it worked actually pretty good, but I wanted to make sure. What we ended up finding out is that this table is $699, but it is only oak veneer, as you can see right here. And it, that just doesn't cut it. So what I decided to do was create my own SketchUp. And I've gone through and actually done for the sake of this video, done a couple of quick uh, scenes within SketchUp. First we have the measurements uh, of this table so it is 86 and 5 8 inches in length. It is just shy of 40 inches in width. Uh, it is just shy of 30 inches in height. Uh, the table thickness when I'm done with it will be uh, an inch and three quarters. So we'll go into the uh, underside and here you can see it's essentially the stretcher here underneath uh, I will probably do mortise and tenon for this. I think that will work the best. Here's the end. And you see here the faux, right here is the, the faux um, floating edge, which I really liked from a uh, design perspective. The finger, jo the finger joints, as you see in the close up here, We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven finger joints, which are about a half an inch wide. Uh, let me just double check that. They are a uh, half an inch wide. Go to the bottom finger joint, <clears throat> same thing. Uh, I just really like the look at this. Uh, here's a picture of the actual table, the veneer in Ikea, and it just, it just looks really nice. We'll go to an exploded view, which shows essentially all the components for this table. Your four components for each side of the legs, your stretcher, and your tabletop, and that really is it. It's a simple design, it looks nice, it's going to be great for, uh, for our needs as a family. Uh, and here is just a better view of the finger joint, uh, the floating edge floating top as it were. There you have it. I just wanted to take you through a quick design session on this table and how I came up with the design. It is not my design. It is an IKEA design. I'm super looking forward to building this, completing it once it warms up. Uh, probably won't be before WorkbenchCon. We have another week of extreme weather. So over here are a couple of other videos for you to check out. And if you'd be so kind, I'd love for you to subscribe. And that's it for me, time to go get another bottle of wine.